Welcome to a new selection of photographs from World War II. This time we have collected very unusual photographs for you, looking at which it is not easy to immediately understand what is captured on them. So we will give some explanations. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's begin! Here is a warehouse of shoes of executed prisoners of the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp. The Germans did not have time to remove or destroy them, or probably they planned to somehow use these shoes, most likely the leather from them. The very sight of the mountains of these shoes makes a depressing impression. The Nazis were very practical. No matter how terrible it sounds, concentration camps were not only death factories for Nazi Germany, but also profit-making factories. Here are members of the Women's Army Corps before sailing from New York port on February 2, 1945. These women are the first black American girls to go overseas to fight in the war. Here is an American soldier inspects thousands of gold wedding rings that the Germans took from Jews. May 3, 1945. Here we can see the formation of prisoners of the parade ground of the second housing concentration camp. This photo is from the museum's storage facilities in the city of Orienburg. The concentration camp operated from 1936 to 1945. During that time, 100,000 people were killed there. The concentration camp was established in the year of the Olympics in Berlin, just 30 kilometers from the game's venue. On the territory of the concentration camp, among other things, the Germans created a secret workshop for the production of counterfeit banknotes of other countries. During the war years, counterfeit monies of the countries of the anti-Hitler coalition was printed here. The USA, Great Britain, the USSR. Most of all, British pounds were printed. Approximately 130 million. At that time, it was a lot of money. A concentration camp prisoner, a native of Czechoslovakia, Adolf Berger, wrote a book dedicated to the counterfeit history of the camp. Based on the book, a feature film was made in 2006. Feet of the People is the name of the Moscow Museum exhibition of the Victory Museum on Poklone Hill, the model of which is shown on the photo. The fighter was carrying water to his comrades, but was hit by an enemy bullet. Everything is very authentic and gives the impression of involvement, especially among children. May 28, 1945. German prisoners. American cemetery in Saint Laurent sur Mer, France, near Omaha Beach. Women workers inspect a partially inflated barrage balloon in New Bedford, Massachusetts. May 11, 1943. Each part of the balloon must be marked with the seal of the worker performing the specific job. In this photo from 1942, future tech pilots undergo training at Corpus Christi Academy in Texas. Project Borghill. This is what the Nazi leaders called the creation of an artificial woman for the marching needs of the German army. It was supervised personally by Himmler. The artificial silicon lady was supposed to look like a true Aryan, be portable, and fit in a backpack during a march. Several dozen of these dolls were even tested in the field. The Borghill project failed in the army. Since it was not very convenient to carry it around in the field, 
and even more so in combat conditions. Here is a Hungarian actress Kat Van Nagy, whose appearance the Nazi planned to use to create their Borghill. Here we can see U.S. Army nurses training at a hospital post at Fort J, November 27, 1941. Specially selected female pilots are training for police work at part of the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. An intensive course of training at the police school similar to that of the men. A self-defense technique is called keeping a man in his place. Nurses and crew undergoing rehabilitation at RAF Princess Mary Hospital in Halton, Buckinghamshire, 1943. Here is a German soldier who fires a backpack flamethrower in the field of tall grass, USSR. Defense Corps women form a V for victory with crossed hoses. Massachusetts, November 14, 1941. Women workers are taking care of stormtrooper nose caps. California, October 1942. A sailor from the USS Bennington writes on a bomb, for Gale, in memory of a fallen comrade. Pacific Ocean, 1945. A box of spikes to punish Korean patriots in Japan's Soy Diamond prison. The most sophisticated torture could be applied to the prisoner. Beating with whips or sticks, twisting of arms, squeezing of hands or fingers in a vice of pliers, prisoner could be hung on a rack and left hanging there for several hours or even days. Particularly sophisticated cruelty was beating with a stick on the feet or soles of the feet or the hands, inserting needles under the nails and pushing hard objects the size of a pencil into the nostrils. Here's a French woman and a man fighting with captured German weapons, August 1944. Women making bullets and shells for cannons at the underground ammunition factory in Wirral, Merseyside, 1945. Sniper Hunter. A girl comes out of the resistant movement. France, August 29, 1944. Two days earlier, the girl killed two Germans during the Paris battles. Here, Soviet soldiers are leaving inscriptions on the walls of the Reichstag.
American film actress Veronica Lake demonstrates that can happen to military women who wear long hair while working at their workspace in a factory. November 9, 1943. Fourteen-year-old German teenagers, soldiers from the Hitler Youth, captured by units of the U.S. Third Army in the April 1945, Burstadt, province of Hesse, Germany. Red Army soldiers hang a caricature of Hitler on the front line, Northwest Front, 1942. Write in the comments which photo impressed you the most. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We recommend watching the following videos.